Hey guys, Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be taking a look at the 52 Pi 19 inch server rack for Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. Now I do want to thank 52 Pi for sending this over to me. And if you know, I've been playing around with a lot of server appliances recently with my 10 inch rack. I've been playing around with NASs and stuff like that. And this this is actually very suitable for what I'm gonna be doing next, which is a 19 inch server rack. Now, I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know what to expect, but according to the box, it does have, uh, it's a 1U 19 inch rack, obviously, uh, fan DC board, micro HDMI to HDMI board. So these are made for Raspberry Pi 4s. Uh, TF2 PFC board, okay. Quick guide, cooling fans, uh, heat sinks, flex cables, and screwdrivers. So, Let's open this up to see what they have. Oh, packaging is pretty cool. Okay, it's got foam inside right now. So if you take a look, there's actually foam ends to protect the box. And it comes with all these, these uh, for each Raspberry Pi, I assume. And... Is there anything else? Another foam piece at the other end, but that's about it. We don't need to worry about that. So here it is. We have the 52 Pi. Oh, cool. It's got its branding up on here. This is which a uh, full HDMI would go, uh, SD card, and 19 inch width. This looks actually pretty cool, and it's a pretty well constructed uh, metal. It's not, it's not plastic or anything. So let's see what they have in one of these boxes. Okay, so we got heat sinks for all different sizes, uh, four heat sinks, and a couple of screws and uh, attachments. Uh, here is the micro HDMI that actually goes right into the Raspberry Pi 4 and the SD card slot with the ribbon cable uh, that will actually go into the front of this panel right over here. And then uh, we have a DC board. Okay, hang on. Let me see if I can get this out. So the DC board actually comes with a pretty size 40 millimeter fan. No, yeah, 40 millimeter by 10 millimeter fan and a DC barrel uh, plug. Only downside is I don't have any, it doesn't come with any barrel plug. So you're gonna have to be able to provide your own or I guess you could still use the Raspberry Pi to power it because it does take from the pin. So you could, I guess, power either way, either with the five volts and also with the USB-C. And let me see if there's anything else in here because it says instruction booklet. Oh, you know what? I think it's stuck. Let me push this through. Yeah, the instructions are on this side right here. So as far as the instruction goes, we have more than one page, definitely. It shows you the components that are provided and also how to install and assemble everything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else do they say? Step one, step two, how to, literally how to put everything together. So if you take a look at that, that's literally how to put everything together. The outcome should be like this, with the four Raspberry Pis. Now I don't have any, well I actually have one Raspberry Pi 4 to test because I've been using all the other Raspberry Pis for projects. So I'm gonna put one together and see how it looks. So that's the end results right there. You might think I'm doing it at an angle because that's where my light is. So that's how I'm doing it that way. All right, let's assemble one and see how it looks and how it will work because this is DC five volts. I do have DC five volts uh, and this is, this is a 5.5 millimeter barrel jack, like standard size. Let me double check. Does it even say? It does not say on here, but I am pretty certain that that's a 5.5 millimeter barrel jack, which is pretty standard. So here we have it, a Raspberry Pi. I don't remember what this is. I think this is a one gigabyte model that I have floating around. I'm gonna take everything out. Okay, it says it includes a screwdriver, which it does not because I do not see any. Let me open all the boxes just to double check. Mm, no screwdriver in there. This one is the one I opened. Oh, okay, here. This one is different. 
This one actually has uh, mounting screws for the actual um, rack itself. And no, I don't see a screwdriver yet. Maybe it might be in one of these that I didn't take out. Nope. Okay, no screwdriver. Whip up a screwdriver, wherever that might be. And let me start assembling this. According to the instructions, we have the HDMI that will plug into the HDMI. Then we have the micro SD card that will plug right into here. The ribbon cable that will plug in. And then you seem, I think you have to fold it. Hold on, let me stick this in. Then you fold this or you just turn it. Would have been better if you were able to flip it so it's a cleaner look, but there we have it. This is installed. Then you will put all the heat sinks on. Okay, there we have all the heat sinks on. And now we just plug in this board with this um, standoff. So, okay, these screws are all the same, so I don't have to worry about which one goes in what. And then now we have four screws left that will actually mount into the rack itself. So I'm just gonna choose the first one, mount the four screws in, and there we have it, that is it. Actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure you could probably use a Raspberry Pi 3 because the hole fitting uh, leaves for room for a Raspberry Pi 3. Even though the kit is made for Raspberry Pi 4, you're gonna lose the ability to stick in the HDMI because this is made for a micro HDMI key. But I'm pretty sure you should be able to fit a Raspberry Pi 3 along with the Raspberry Pi 4 with this. The SD card is still the same, so you're gonna be able to use the SD card slot. Just the HDMI won't be able to work with the Raspberry Pi 3, but since this is a Raspberry Pi 4 kit, I'm pretty certain they'll probably have a Raspberry Pi 3 kit. It's basically the board has to be replaced, so it brings the HDMI forward. The fan is also unbelievably quiet as well, so yeah, you can leave that running and you won't even hear it. Now, if you're doing a lot of server appliances with the Raspberry Pi, like you probably should if you're learning how to use it and stuff, this is a great little rack for that. Otherwise, if you are looking for a 19 inch rack uh, to hold four Raspberry Pis, this seems to be a viable solution. I did plan on 3D printing something before and 3D printing is, while it's great, you one, have to own a 3D printer to be able to do that. And two, the fit is not gonna be as good as this. This is like solid metal compared to plastic that you're gonna be installing. I also had a little bit of difficulty when I was uh, doing it for my 10 inch rack just to have a Raspberry Pi 3 and Raspberry Pi 4 10 inch rack because you know printing is not always going to be perfect but yeah that is it guys if you guys like this video please hit that like button if you guys have any questions about this rack let me know down in the description below uh, i also want to ask i did change around my audio a little bit so let me know what you guys think is it better is it worse i'm, I'm very bad with audio stuff you guys know anyway if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say my nerd cave Hack till it hurts.